This is a sight that still thrills Klaus Kleber. He's standing among some of the world's most valuable classic cars. It's something the enthusiastic vintage car fan could only dream of 30 years ago. Back then, nobody could have imagined the Techno Classica in Essen would turn out like this. We have a very special hobby here, the rustiest hobby in the world. But these aren't rusty cars. They're the creme de la creme, and that's always an inspiration. This is a great show. There's nothing like it. For five days, Essen becomes a pilgrimage site for car lovers. More than 200,000 visitors come to see what the big car makers have put on display. The likes of Porsche, Mercedes and Audi show off extraordinary vehicles with a fascinating history. Like the Mercedes Silver Arrow of German racing legend Rudolf Caracciola. Kleber himself owns several classics. They've always been his passion. He inherited his Bogvard Isabella Coupe built in 1959 from his father. I really feel love for this vehicle because it's like a family member and you usually love family members. For the retired car expert, it's no wonder that more and more people are falling in love with classic cars. The hobby is booming. If you look at the Borgwart Isabella from the front, it's like a mouth that's smiling. The car was built using all sorts of special materials, starting with the felt under the floor mats and the Nappa leather that gives off a very specific scent. Many people remember the way their car smelled when they were young. And you don't find that in today's modern vehicles. It doesn't surprise him that the scene gets bigger every year, especially since you can buy a vintage car today for a few thousand euros. Kleber says it's only logical that the number of techno classical visitors is constantly growing. The fans are drawn to the cars of their childhood by nostalgia. And there's also something appealing about the cars that date from a time when fuel economy and safety took a back seat. It's relatively simple to carry out any repairs to these cars in terms of mechanics or worn down parts. In modern cars, that's no longer possible. When you open the hood, you see a plastic cover and don't know what's under it. I think that's a key selling point for vintage car lovers. Owning a vintage car isn't all fun and games. It's a lot of hard work. It takes effort to keep these old treasures in top shape. The car is cleaned after every ride. When I'm cleaning it, I can see if anything has come loose, if there are any leaks. It's like with horses long ago. They had to be groomed after riding, and that's the same with this car. That's also the case for these classic cars from Abarth. The Italian automaker turned small cars into sports cars. Kleber races on an Abarth team with other fans. They have been coming to the Techno Classica since the beginning. It was much more modest then. At that time, everything was still very rustic. There were wooden walls that we wallpapered ourselves, and then we painted stripes and did everything ourselves. There was no power at the stand. It was a luxury we couldn't afford. Today, the classic car clubs decorate their stands with a lot of creativity. The members put hundreds of hours creating carefully designed settings to match their historic vehicles. They're one of the most popular aspects of the fair. Meanwhile, 220 clubs take part. As always, the Borgwart stand is one of the most elaborate. A lot of passion and work go into this. His enthusiasm for the fair is unbroken, but 30 years can be exhausting. These days, I sometimes think I won't spend all five days at the fair. It's pretty tiring. Sometimes when I come home, I'm too tired to feel hungry. I just feel worn out from all the questions I've been getting from fans. And that's because the fascination for classic cars continues to grow. Something a Borgvard driver like Klaus Kleber 
can certainly relate to.